Hello, everyone. My name is Pavan Luthra. Joining me today is a new inductee in the Australian Honours Roll, Meetu Bhomek Lange. We know her, of course, as Australia's strongest link to Bollywood, the person behind most of the Bollywood films distributed in Australia and New Zealand, and the highly successful Indian Film Festival of Melbourne. Honoured with an AM in 2023 Australia Day Awards. Welcome to Indian Link, Me Too. Thank you so much for having me, Pavan. So lovely to see you. So lovely to talk to you, Me Too, AM. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, Me Too, you were born in India, have spent most of your life in Australia, and married to a New Zealander. With this new Australian accolade and top national honour, has India lost you forever to Australia? Never, never. That will never happen. I think, uh, like all of us, I, I the Indian identity is as important as the Australian identity, and the both are, um, they both are equally important. Right. A lovely reply. Me too. Now, tell me, when you started mind blowing films, did you see it growing and blossoming as it has done? No, not at all. <clears throat> In fact, I think. Um, you, like you know, Pavan, because you have supported me right from the start and uh, been one of my huge strengths of support. And, um, you know, everything that we did was not very planned. And uh, I'm not from a business background. I'm from an arts and filmmaking background. And um, it was mostly the love for cinema that we started the distribution business. And the distribution business just took a life of its own. And Indian films have just been growing and growing <clears throat> excuse me and um, then we started doing the Indian Film Festival of Melbourne and then Victorian government came on board and that took a life of its own so I think it's been this beautiful journey it's been truly like this Akla Chalore so where you've started on a path and like-minded people have joined you and supported you and it has just gone to the next level. So me to tell me what was that one moment in hindsight, because now is the time to think in retrospectively, what is that one moment you believed changed your story? Oh, very difficult question. I don't know, Pavan, if there is any one singular moment, but it's just a culmination of lots of moments, and I'm not being diplomatic, but I do feel that whatever happens, there happens for the moments, best. Uh, which you believed when you said, aha, that's a tube world moment when something really changed. I think I think one of the big moments business wise was um, when we did three dates, you know, and till then um, Hindi films, we did three dates on 20 screens in 2010. Um, and to put it in perspective, we are releasing, but we released Pathan yesterday and mm -hmm. that's on 120 screens. You wow. know, wow. that is the growth. And Three Idiots was the first film that crossed the 1 million mark at box office. It really made all the other cinema chains sit up and take notice mm -hmm. because our per screen average was so high. Mm -hmm. and the irony is Avatar had just released. and. Oh, right. And a lot of the cinemas took Avatar off and not off, off, but they were replacing uh, three dates sessions because right. three dates was like selling out everywhere. And that was a big turning point, not just for me, but also for the exhibition sector, who till then were lukewarmish towards Indian films and they didn't really realize the kind of box office impact they could have. But business wise, definitely that was a huge. Uh, moment and of course culturally when we did the film festival and especially when Mr. Bachchan came and um, you were there Pavan and I, the, there was a that moment when I was standing at Princess Theatre just behind Mr. Bachchan and the whole um, theatre was just screaming and just joyous you mm. know and I just looked up it was packed everyone was that energy and I just felt such a sense of belonging and warmth mm -hmm. at that moment. And then even when Shah Rukh Khan was here at Palais 
And um, we had Emotion 21 dancers who are young adults with living with Down syndrome who were dancing. And Shah Rukh spontaneously jumped up and went on stage. And I really thought that the palais roof was going to fall down just oh. with the cheer. Yeah. You know, and that moment made me feel so happy, so fulfilled. Mm -hmm. um, and just, you know how sometimes you feel like, I'm uh, really happy. Oh, yeah, maza aa gaya. Yeah, that that. So there have been lots of moments, but I would say these are the few uh, really highlights. I think if you get some time when you're sitting on that beach uh, resort with the pina colada in your hands, you can come up with a book on your journey, me too. Which beach resort? <laughs> <laughs> sitting and drinking pina colada. I'm sure we'll find you one. But tell me, you've interacted closely with some top personalities. You mentioned two to me right now, Amitabh Bachchan, Shah Rukh Khan. You've had Ashwarya Rai and a num number of other people. I'm sure all of them were lovely. But me too, just between you and me, a secret. <laughs> and I'll whisper it very gently. Who was your favorite and why? Um, no, everybody. You know, everybody has uh, something. So that's what I said. Everybody was lovely. But tell me. <laughs> everybody. But it's true. We, we've really been so lucky because everybody who comes to the festival is amazing. They always are so generous with their time, their warmth, their goodwill. Um, and... Uh, and it's just magic, the warmth that they have. Like last year, we had Abhishek Bachchan and Kapil Dev and Tamanna. And they were just dancing, singing, interacting with everyone. Before that, uh, uh, before COVID, we had, of course, the mighty Shah Rukh Khan. And I just felt everywhere we were going, we, were, we had become security. But it's like people like Mr. Bachchan and Shah Rukh, they just kind of bring a completely different level of energy, you know, which is um, quite unthinkable and quite unimaginable because it's just that pure Beatlemania. Is it very difficult lining up these top names to come to Melbourne or uh, Me Too makes a phone call and they ask you, what time do you want us to be there on what date? Pavan, I really wish it because it's like that one day, but that day is not... <laughs> here right now i think the good thing is there is a real intent and there is a real desire to come to the festival and to come to melbourne but it's the distance and the time that it takes so um anywhere else especially dubai or europe or anywhere it, it's maximum two or three day commitments but coming to melbourne is almost a three to five day commitment even if they come just for a day so i think that's where the stars especially the ones who are super busy um it becomes a bit hard, but usually I've noticed if not immediately within a couple of years, two, three years, they always do keep their word and they do turn up, which is always lovely. Well, that's fantastic. Me too. Uh, just on the same line of uh, discussion, one star was totally surprised you. Mm. One guest was totally surprised you. One guest was totally surprised me. <laughs> Pleasantly or unpleasantly, I'll let you fill in the gaps over there, but knowing you, I'm sure it'll be a pleasant experience. <laughs> um, um, the, all of them have something, to, but definitely, I wouldn't say surprised, but I was very appreciative of, um, obviously, Vidya Balan, who was our brand ambassador for the longest time, and she was very generous with her time. And you know, the nice thing with her was that every year when she used to come, she used to bring this beautifully hand picked presents for the whole team. Wow, you know, so earring, little batuas, little you know, things to wear, um, scarves like she would bring not just like for me or one or two people, but the whole team and not just once or twice she, i think she was our brand ambassador for almost seven years every year she would bring something and i just thought that that really showed the depth and the warmth and the thoughtfulness that she had right right uh listeners uh, and viewers uh, it's pavan luthra talking to me too bhomik lange who's just been awarded an australian honors accolade and aim now, me too. Uh, while we're talking about these things, if there was a biopic made about you, <laughs> who would you like to play you? Pavan, you make me laugh. I don't know whether you're saying it with sarcasm or 
<laughs> or just pulling my leg. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> Oh, come on. You you interact with all these famous uh, stars. There must be somebody who you feel could play you properly as a biopic. I really don't know. <laughs> I really have no idea. And Rana Mukherjee? No, 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 no. No, I don't know. This is... Uh, <laughs> you really make me laugh, Pavan. Thank you. <laughs> <All right. laughs> we'll let you get by with that one. Me too. Now, on a serious topic, you have a passion for social causes. Your work on promoting women's film is well known. Now, 26 January is steeped in controversy in Australia with the First Nations people and young Australians calling it Invasion Day. How do you feel about it? I feel, I feel there is a lot of history that is there, which is very difficult and very confronting. And I feel that at some point we all have to face it. And I do think that process of facing has begun, maybe not as actively and as um, furiously as it should be. So to be very honest with you, I do feel that there is, um, there is a lot of truth and depth to what a lot of young Australians and the Indigenous community is asking for. Right. Uh, me too. Now, uh, your scale new heights, created new peaks in connecting Australia to Bollywood. You like making a difference. Your husband's uncle was one of New Zealand's most respected politicians, David Lange. What next? For me too, Bhamek Lange, AM. Um, uh, uh, Bhavan, he was my father-in-law. Right, right. Yes. Sorry. So, um, so closer to politics than than I thought. No, but um, um, I feel that you know I feel very privileged and very honored. And to be honest with you, this morning, I I've only been feeling very, very grateful for everything that I've been able to that I have done. I've been able to do, and it's not. I might be the face for it, but it's it's a combination of a lot of factors, the support of a lot of people that has helped us be where we are today. And I just feel that it's the start, but there's so much more to do. Um, next month onwards, we are starting a very ambitious uh, feature film production, which is called My Melbourne, which, as you know, is an anthology of four short films. Um, and each film is based on one of the pillars and foundations of diversity. One is based on race, one is gender, one is based on LGBTQI relationships, another is based on disability. And all four are being headlined by a really iconic Indian filmmaker and completely made by Australian cast and crew. So that is the next big project that we are very passionate and very, very committed to because that is all about representation, diversity and inclusivity in Australian screen. So both on screen and off screen. So that is something that we want to nurture and push forward more and more. Give me something uh, which you're passionate about. Let's let's assume that in 2028, when you've been upgraded to Order of Australia... <laughs> And I'm interviewing you with uh, again. What would you have liked to achieve in the last previous five years? I would definitely like would have liked to have achieved, or at least tried to make some positive difference in having a lot more inclusivity on screen, mm -hmm. especially in the Australian screen culture, and. Um, whether it's through distribution of films, which I think we are doing quite effectively, me and all the other distributors who distribute Indian films, um, whether it's through the film festival and also whether through the films that we start producing, My Melbourne being the first one in that step. And hopefully not just inclusion of people from diverse background, but also inclusion of people with different abilities you know Pavan my daughter is a little girl living with down syndrome yeah. and that has really opened the whole world of mm -hmm. differently abled um, disability to Roy and me and you know the kind of people who work there are just so incredibly strong and big-hearted and all of us parents we are always advocating pushing trying to make things better and 
I feel that if I can contribute in that in some way, especially as far as screen culture is concerned, because that's my area, um, I will feel very, very, very happy about it. Oh, wonderful. Me too. Me too. On behalf of my team at Indian Link and the Indian community at large in Australia, thank you for the work you do and best wishes. Me too. Bhomik Lange, AM. Thank you, Pavan. Thank you. Thank you.